G'day, I'm Mr. Code. Today we're going to check out how to build and code a driving base with VEX V5 tank treads and explore the process of turning Clawbot into this awesome beast. Stick around. Now let's talk about the benefits of tank treads. First off, they provide excellent traction, making it easier to navigate bumpy surfaces and maintain stability. This can be advantageous in scenarios where grip is crucial. With a variety of VEX V5 tread links, you can choose smoother conveyor links like the ones I'm using today, or treads with rubber inserts to increase the traction even further. To put together a basic tank tread, I'm going to use two C channels to form the upper and lower halves, separated by one inch standoffs. The lower C channel is shorter so that we can form this trapezoidal shape. This allows the front and back treads to climb over obstacles and maintain traction. Tank treads require a lot of torque, so I'm going to put two 200 RPM motors on each tread, driving a sprocket wheel each. Having all this power ensures that our robot will not be overheating very quickly. Next I install the bogey wheels that run along the bottom of the track. Make sure that the wheels are protruding away from the channel before you screw them into place. Finally, I wrap the treads around the wheels and sprockets, making sure it isn't too loose or too tight. If you're enjoying this video, then please consider treading on that like button and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me continue making VEX videos, so I thank you in advance. Once you have a pair of tank treads built, then it is time to link them together using some more C channels. For my robot, I've taken the arm from the clawbot and attached it to the top. Now you would think that setting up your tank to drive is as simple as adding a four motor drivetrain to your devices. While this will allow you to drive with the controller, you will also need to set your wheel size correctly in order for your autonomous code to function properly. If you are using these tank tread sprockets like me, they are one and a half inches in diameter, which is not a selection that you can choose in VEX code. So you will need to write your own functions to drive accurately. I've created a simple tank drive code with blocks that you can download via my GitHub link below. All you need to do is set up your motor groups correctly in your devices menu before you enter your sprocket diameter at the start of your code, and then you'll be able to get your robot to drive the correct distance in autonomous mode. My Robotic Center Creator Academy is dedicated to teaching kids about coding and robotics, and I will be personally leading three of our teams to Worlds 2024 in Dallas, Texas. If your team is also headed to Worlds, then make sure you reach out to us in the comments section below. We love to share ideas and connect with other teams. And if you're in Australia, why not visit us at our Eastwood or Chatswood Robotics Center to see how we can support your child or school robotics team. Visit our website at www.creatoracademy.au. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.